Hello everyone and welcome back to The Game Shed with me Mark and in today's video I'm going to be covering the automation that is built into BleemSync. It's a very very interesting thing that I did not cover in the original video and I have got a little bit of stick for it. So in today's video I'm going to show you how you can literally just chuck the bin and queue files into the folder on the BleemSync game directory and it will do everything else for you automatically. It will create that config file and it will it will download the PNG file for you. So you don't need to do any of that. This is gonna make the process so simple for you. Right, so the two folders I'm gonna open up here are the folder that contains the game itself that I, uh, in one of the previous videos actually, I combined lots of track files into two bin files. Uh, it was Street Fighter Collection that I wanted. Then we go into the games folder on our USB stick. Let's add a new folder. Uh, let's just copy 25 here. So we create folder 26 in exactly the same way as we did previously. Make sure there's no game file in there. We just want the PCSX config file in there. Then you copy the game itself into that folder. So there we go. Finally, the game has uploaded to the USB stick and we are ready to go. Literally, guys, there's nothing more you need to do in that folder at this stage because BleemSync will automatically do it for you. So to make it do that, go back to the root of the memory stick, go to the BleemSync folder and run that BleemSync file again. Do you remember we did that last time? Get that running and what you'll notice is it should eventually process Street Fighter Collection. There we go. Okay. So if we head on back now to the games and folder number 26 that I added previously, there you go. It has now added a game config file. Let's just edit that and have a look. Street Fighter Collection, disc one, disc two, it's done it all for us. And it's also created a PNG file for us. So it's obviously gone on the internet and downloaded that for us automatically, guys. So if you're starting this from scratch, you could do all the folders, you don't have to do any PNGs, you don't have to do any game config files, anything at all. Do all the folders and then just run that BleemSync uh, application and it will process them all for you. So it's very, very simple. This is only available in version 0.4.0 .0 and above at the moment, guys. That is the thing to remember. If you've got an older version of BleemSync, then don't bother trying to do this, it won't work. It was introduced in 0.4.0. .0. So that is how you do it. It's literally that simple. I love it. So the automation in BleemSync is that good that you don't really need to do anything apart from chuck the files into the folder and then run the application. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like on the PlayStation itself, so bear with me a sec. So here we go, here's my amazing list of games. And as you can see right here, Street Fighter Collection, Capcom 1997 has been processed beautifully. So let's open it. As you can see, multi-disc game. Uh, I'm going to open it up and make sure it works okay. Look at this. So there we go, Street Fighter is up and running and it works an absolute treat. Oh, beautiful, look at this. I'm just going to uh, give the camera a beat. <laughs> Apparently. It does it all for you. So from version 040, uh, it does it all for you. It's fantastic. So thank you once again for coming and watching my videos. I much appreciate it. Feel free to drop us a comment below with any questions you might have. And if you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Much appreciated, guys. Thanks again. I will see you next time. 